Hello! On my feet are the Free Aim VR shoes. They're motorized shoes that let you walk around in virtual reality by actually walking around with your legs. No joystick needed. In this video, I'm playing the game High on Life using Prey Dog's Unreal Engine VR Injector. In this video, I'm also using the support equipment that we call a swivel caster frame. It's the frame that is uh, strapped to me via the climbing harness. And I don't normally use support equipment in these videos, but I want to show you what the swivel caster frame looks like during regular gameplay. And just like the previous few gameplay videos, I'm going to be doing a lot of talking and answering all of your questions and comments from previous videos while gameplay is going on in the background. Thanks for leaving so many comments on all of our videos, we really appreciate it. And just a reminder, we're going to be at AWE. It's on June 18th through the 20th, and it's in Long Beach, California. We'll be in the playground area giving demos, and if you want to try the VR shoes out yourself, that's your chance, and we hope to see you there. All right, I'll just keep going down my list. So the next thing I have is walking backwards. Some of you have asked if walking backwards is supported, and right now we haven't gotten to fully implementing that yet, but we are going to implement that before a consumer version is released. So it's on our list, and we will do it. We've actually already implemented it for treadmill mode, but we're also going to implement it for the automatic modes as well. And I can tell you that personally, I am very excited when we implement that because there's lots of times where I want to go backwards in these games. Go, you know, go backwards while you're shooting some enemy in front of you. That'll be really nice to have. All right, next, I'm going to talk about stopping with the shoes. So if you're paying attention to these videos, you'll know that when I stop, the shoes don't stop right away. The, uh, like I'll drift back a little bit, the shoes take a little bit to stop. That's uh, partially on purpose and partially we're continuing to try to make that better. So um, we, found with new, we found with new people and even people ex as experienced as me, if you try to stop right away, it can be a bit jolting and um, can throw you off. So a more gradual stop is generally a bit better. And uh, yeah, even for me, a little bit of a gradual stop is fine. The shoes are capable of stopping very quickly, but yeah, uh, you can configure how fast or slow they stop. The shoes have to decide every step if you're going to continue walking, in which case the motors stay on, or if they should turn the motors off. So they have a very short amount of time to figure out if they should stop or keep going. We'll continue trying to make stopping better so that it's pretty much flawless. We have extra sensors that we're starting to experiment uh, with some newer electronics that we have. And we'll start experimenting with some machine learning in the future as well. Okay, next, some of you asked about the kind of flooring that is needed with the shoes. So the shoes work best on a hard floor. So with my setup, I have a concrete floor, and then you can see that I have a thin vinyl sheet on top of that. And that's what we generally recommend, so a rigid floor with a thin mat on top of it. It also works on semi-rigid floors like uh, vinyl. That should work just fine too. So concrete, vinyl hardwood, that sort of thing. All the, the shoes should work on all of those. The shoes do not work on carpet because carpet is too squishy, unless the carpet is very, very thin. But yeah, generally the shoes will not work on carpet. And if all of you, if all you have is carpet, then we recommend looking into getting a rigid office chair mat or some type of mat that is rigid like that and using the shoes on top of that. Additionally, when we start to sell the shoes, we are planning on having options that you can buy with the shoes. So different kinds of you know, floor mats and that sort of thing that you can buy with the shoes if you need to. Okay, next, some people just asked about, you know, why are we making the solution and how does it compare with competitors and that sort of thing. And, you know, we're making this solution because we want something that feels more natural than slide mills. So with slide mills, you're sliding on a plastic disc. And um, a lot of people say, and uh, we've tried them as well, and we think it's not completely natural. Um, you're kind of like sliding on ice or... In my case, um, there's a lot of friction on the on the slide mills, so you have to really... You see people running on slide mills, and for me, I had to run on the slide mills that I tried because there was so much friction. I couldn't do a slow walk because of that, so I had to always be running, and it's more tiring. So we wanted something better than that. So the shoes, they have motors in them. It should feel like a treadmill at the gym. It should feel much more natural than a slide mill. In addition, lots of other solutions are large and bulky, so slide mills typically weigh like 100 pounds or more, 
and they just kind of take up space in your room. Some of them, some of them have wheels that you can roll them around a bit, but they still take up a lot of space. They, they don't really um, fold down. So we wanted to make a solution that was compact that you could throw in a closet. And you know, with the frames too, uh, what's, showing, what's shown here and what's been shown, they're just prototypes, but with the frames, we are also planning on making it so that they can be folded up and be compact and then just be thrown in a closet when you're not using them. And then too, we want to make something that is on the consumer level. So we're going to be releasing more information to AWE about pricing and availability. But yeah, our, one of our main goals is to make a consumer product that um, is affordable for a lot of people. And there are other motorized solutions out there, but typically they're not available to consumers and typically they cost thousands and thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars. So those are some of the reasons we're making the VR shoes. You can check out our website, freem.com, and there's a frequently asked questions page where you can find out more if you're interested. All right, so I'm gonna wrap the video up. Let us know if you like this kind of commentary over the gameplay, or if you'd rather me just be quiet and let the gameplay run by itself. Additionally, let us know if you like this kind of video editing where we don't do really a lot of cuts. I'm basically only cutting the video and cutting parts out of the video where I'm standing still. But other than that, it's pretty much the raw gameplay footage that you're seeing here. Let us know if you like this kind or if you'd rather us cut out parts of the video to like get to exciting parts and do that sort of thing. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and leave a like and we'll see you next time.